the previous video called running a payroll proposal i showed you how to run payroll in the unit 4 erp but once you've run the payroll of course you want to be able to see the results so that you can check that the pay is correct and customers using the system develop uh, different reports to suit the needs of their payroll team but when they're looking at payroll transactions they're all looking at the same thing no matter what is presented on that, that report and that's what i'm going to show you today but there are three main ways for looking at um, the results in the unit for ERP. And I will show you all three. I will tell you which are the most common ones that people use. So the three ways I'm going to show you are firstly, ordered reports. Secondly, an internal payslip. And thirdly, information browsers. Um, on the screen, I've got open the personnel tab, the maintenance of payroll proposal on the ordered report screen. These are the three, three screens in one of my videos about tips. I said, I think you should keep open all the time and put into your favorites. I've also got open this, sec this other tab, which is a report. It's called an information browser in Unit 4, but it's essentially it's a report that brings back information in the system. So the first way to look at data is your ordered reports. And if you remember from previous videos, this is the screen that shows the processes that have been run. And you can see on this date, the payroll proposal was created. It's called a PRO1 in the system, and it has a set of reports, each with A, G, E, D after this. So if I open up this A report by clicking on this icon here, it shows me the parameters that were used when this report was run. And this report shows me by person by individual p and and then the amount that was calculated for the month in which I ran this payroll. So it's a really detailed per person, per period, per pay element report for the whole set of people that were within the payroll that I ran. I'm showing you that as one way to show to, to see the payroll results, but that's not the most common way that payroll teams use. But I'm showing it to you because it sits in this screen as an audit trail as to what the results of the payroll were for the at the point in time that you ran it, it tells you the use it that ran it and the date obviously so that's one way of seeing it so the other way that i see payroll teams using is a internal pay slip so i've come back to the personnel tab i'm looking at this individual person and in the on the bottom you'll see these buttons and one of them is called more actions and if i click on more actions you can see pay slip in the menu here if i click on this now i want to stress this is not the pay slip that the employee can view or that the employee can see that may be branded um, it may have a company logo on um, and it will be presented as a pdf document this is what i call an internal pay slip uh, which i see payroll teams commonly using but you can see it's set out in the same way as a pay slip with payments on one side deductions on the other net pay uh, it's got some other employee information on it as well so the reason I think that payroll teams use this screen is because it's a really quick way of just seeing what the results at a high level look like without looking into any detail. So that's the internal pay slip view. It's not something that employees typically can see themselves. They see their uh, the, the, the end output pay slip. So the final way of looking at payroll transactions is by using an information browser. And there's a separate video on information browsers, how to find them, how to set them up. I've got this one open. You can see it's called payroll um, transactions with brackets pay slip view. And that's because this information browser is giving me this, virtually the same information that we were seeing on that pay slip view. It's got one person in this instance, not everybody. Um, it's got the P and D, the pay element that was calculated here, along with the name of that pay element. It's showing me that this is for this particular payroll period. And then the results. This um, report also shows me the accounts that those values are being paid to. So it's a bit more information. Um, so that is quickly how to see payroll transactions in the Unifor ERP. Thank you.